What is up guys, Tim's another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today is the day I've been waiting for for years. I've been envisioning this moment. Um, it's something that has been a goal of mine to finally buy an exotic car at 16 years old. It is January 16th, Tuesday. I had school today and apparently we're supposed to be getting some snow the next couple of days. So either way, I'm still going to pick up my car tonight at Foreign Cars Italia. I'm super excited. The Jeep back there that you guys know of, that's the one I've been driving for the past year. It's my dad's old car. So I've been whipping that around. It's pretty fun. But it's finally time I buy my first exotic. I've been working hard on all my business carnivores for a long time. And the time has finally come where I've gotten to a financial point where I felt like it is finally a good time to do this. I turn 17 next Monday, January 22nd. So I came pretty close to my deadline of buying my first car when I'm 16. But it's happening. I'm super excited, guys. I know a lot of you guys are excited too. Seeing someone else buy a car can help motivate you get to where you want to be. And that's sort of what I want to do with this video. So I already went to the bank and picked up a check and everything. So we're ready to go to the dealership, Foreign Cars Italia, and get everything set up, sign all the papers, all the contracts, whatever. And then the car is mine. And I don't know exactly where I want to take this video next after this intro. But I think I'm going to like get some reactions from my friends, see what they think of it. And then um, I guess we'll have to show you guys what the reveal is after that. All right, guys, I just called Jeffrey from JR Garage. I showed him the new car. What do you think? Oh, bro, you outdone yourself. Dude, the brand new <laughs> Porsche, that's the turbo engine. I was just telling Christian about this. That car is fast, so I, the, I'm the very proud. Damn, Tanner, boy. That's legit. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Nailed it with that. Oh, and done well. Dude, you got it. Like, bro, you, dang. You got, dude, I'm, I'm jealous. What year is it, 2017? Brand new? 2016? 2018. What the? Just showed hating the car. What do you think, bro? Yo, what you know? <laughs> Has to be a rental. Has to be a rental. <laughs> I just showed Kieran from JR Garage. Bro. He just saw the car. What do you think, bro? Dude, this is crazy. Dude, you're 16, bro. Like this is. Oh my god, dude, this is insane. Congratulations. Thank Holy you, bro. Damn. All right, guys, so there you have it. You got some reactions for the car. Standing here right in front of my car right now in the garage. It is time to show you guys this crazy edit that we just made. So here we go, guys. The car reveal is here. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that edit. Um, I know my dad worked hard on that for me, working on the editing, the videography side of things. Um, I had a great time enjoying it. I hope you guys liked the car. But now I just want to talk a little bit. I sort of just like the whole process I went through of buying this car. Because, as you guys saw, a lot of you guys were guessing, like, Ferraris, Lambos, McLarens, whatever. I guess because you see, like, me with Raymond's Ferraris and stuff here and there. And then the teaser video, it was, like, the Ferrari dealership. But that dealership actually has... Porsche, Ferrari, Maserati, and Aston Martin. So it's just a foreign cars dealership. But anyways, 
This is the car. It's a very base car. It is a 2018 Porsche Cayman 718. Um, it has like a couple options and the two options are like the automatic transmission which is the paddles and the wheels. And the wheels are something I definitely want to change in the future. They're not the best things in the world but I definitely have a lot of things coming for this car. I want to tune it. I want to get an exhaust. I want to wrap it. I want to get new wheels. Uh, also guys, while you're at it, comment down below what you want me to wrap this car. I'm not sure when I'm going to wrap it but I know I definitely want to in the future for you guys. Um, so let me know in the comments below what you guys think. What color I should wrap it. But anyways guys, I'm 16 years old. I turned 17 on Monday and my goal has always been to buy my first sports car before I turned 17. So while I'm 16, I wanted to buy my first sports car. And I know I said in my 2018 goals video that I wanted to buy a new car within the first month or two of 2018. And I did that. It's January. So right now is Saturday. It's the day before this edit is going up. Um, I'm super excited for you guys to see it. Well, you just watched it. But anyways, I've worked hard to get where I am. I'm going to be as transparent as possible with you guys. A lot of people are going to comment like, daddy, money, you're spoiled, whatever. But no, my dad didn't pay for this at all, but I did finance under him because I didn't want to wrap up a bunch of cash into a liquid asset that isn't going to make me money at the moment. It's not an appreciating asset. The car itself is depreciating. But being transparent, I am going to make money off of it. I'm not going to lose money because I'm going to use this as my personal brand, as credibility. Um, it's fun. So there's two different sides of why I have this car. One, it's fun. It's a cool car. I've always had the goal of wanting a car like this. And two, it's going to help me with my personal branding stuff, uh, content on Instagram, YouTube. Overall, it's just going to help a lot and it's going to be a fun time. So I'm excited to make a lot of videos in the future with this thing. So the way I paid for it is I put a significant amount of a down payment. As you guys saw, I wrote a check. Um, it's a pretty hefty check. I wrote that as the down payment for this car and then I financed the rest under my dad. So now I have payments for the next couple years, but I'm going to pay it off of as fast as I can just because I want to get that loan off my dad's back so he doesn't have to worry about me not paying or anything like that but my dad is not paying for it at all I'm paying for the insurance I'm paying for the car he just helped me with the whole process of financing it my parents have supported me through what I do and that's really how I've gotten to where I am I've spent the past like three four years working as an entrepreneur trying to figure out how to make money on my own and I've recently over the past six months I've really started to learn some new things and I've been able to use them to my advantage to make more and more money and just build a brand with my drop shipping business personal branding affiliate marketing all kinds of things I've worked towards for this whole time and really a lot of people when they have success stories or they buy something they're like oh I had doubters I had people hating on me and you know everybody has those but really I never had a majority of that I had a lot of people that sort of like I don't know if it's just my charisma or what like they're like yeah he's gonna be successful he's gonna be a millionaire he's gonna be a billionaire like I've never really had that many people talk trash to me to my face most of the time it's support uh, of course I have like haters like on YouTube and Instagram like stuff like that but it's no big deal um, it's just online but anyways, I've never really had anything like in person, like people hating on me. So I've never really had the drive of haters like push me. Like I love when I get comments like from haters, like saying stupid stuff about me or whatever. Um, it just forces me and drives me to do more and more. But I've never really had that in person, like people at school, uh, parents, family. Most of the time they've supported me. They've helped me with what I do. And that's also driven me in a positive way to just like keep going and stay motivated. Of course, I've been through hardships. I've uh, lost a lot of money. I've made a lot of money. Uh, but luckily, I've made more than I've lost. So it takes a lot of trial and error to get where you want to be. I know for me, it took a long time to get where I am right now. As I said, four years, I'm only 16. But really, age doesn't matter at all. You could be 66, I'm 16, you're older than me, but you still can do the same thing. There's different opportunities out there. Um, really, there's no age limit to success. You could be 12, you could be 80. It doesn't matter, guys. It's really just all about taking action and taking advantage of the opportunities out there. I'm only 16. A lot of people, when I drive this around, they're going to be like, oh, daddy money spoiled, uh, like I said. But the thing is, I paid for it for myself, but people aren't going to really know that unless they watch this video. They understand that I'm an entrepreneur. I make my own money. I do things by myself. So I'm super excited to have this car and share the journey with you guys of my entrepreneurial journey. Um, this isn't the most expensive car in the world, but I'm 16, it's a Porsche, and it's brand new, so I'm super excited to have it. Um, a lot of things coming with it soon. And guys, really, I've just been envisioning this moment for a very long time. One of the things I want to show you guys is that this is a Porsche key. It is old. I've had it for like two years. It's for Macan, the SUVs they have. Um, but anyways, I bought this like two years ago because I had envisioned that I wanted a Porsche. I always wanted this key because I've seen them around a little bit and I always wanted my own and I wanted to have my own, be able to drive my own and just overall, you know, just have my own, have my own keys. And now I do. I have them right here. This is my new car key. 
This is the key to my brand new car. It's something I've had for a while. I envisioned it. I had this key. I was motivated. I had to manifest that I wanted this car and that I was going to have it. Guys, if you want something, you have to believe it. I don't want to get all motivational and stuff here, but really, if you want something, you have to go and get it. You have to believe in yourself and actually go and take action to get it. A lot of people just doubt themselves right off the bat and they just get started a little bit. They doubt themselves. Oh, I'm not making money. I'm going to quit. Nothing is fast and easy in the business world. You may get lucky, but really... Most of the time, that's not going to happen. It's going to take a long time to get where you are. Uh, I'm 16 years old. I've been working on my business stuff for a couple years, like I said. So it takes time, guys. Um, I've been through a lot of trial and error. That's what it really takes. You can get a course. You can learn a lot. Like I have a dropshipping course I provide to you guys, and some of you have gotten it. You've taken action, and I've seen that it's helped you guys. Uh, it's like a boost. Like you could go without the course and do everything, make money on your own. Um, but really, the course gives that boost that it provides that necessary information that'll help you get right off the bat and start making money. So it takes time, guys. Really. You just have to stay consistent, get where you want to be, and you will get there. Envision it, manifest it, set goals, and then you will achieve them. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.